Hello everyone, it's me, Tabby. Life is strange, isn't it? Fort Frosty was all anybody talked about last week. No one's really in the mood for snowballs anymore. Why, because someone died? Graffiti Rock looks so... naked. Why? Because someone painted R.I.P. on it? Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Whoa! Very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. I don't know, but he can't seem to figure it out. Let's see if I can figure it out. Shit's all yours if you want it. What's the puzzle box? So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key a Braxis virtue. The eye for detail. Oh, count me out. I'm means. bad at details. You want to give it a shot? All right. Hold right bumper to zoom out. Hold the... Oh, okay. Zoom in. Oof. Can we, can we get it to focus while we're at it? That'd be nice. Shut up. Alright, let's see. Okay. Mm hmm. An eye for detail, huh? Got some classic witchcraft symbols here. I don't I don't know them off the top of my head though. I mean this is outside my wheelhouse of what I research. Okay. So what am I trying to do? Got it. Can I... how do I... Rotate, rotate. This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The Founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Here's the other bird. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. <laughs> okay. That makes no sense. Why would that do that? Of course. Oh, hell no. It It's your headache now. Are you sure? Really? Oh, she's wearing an owl on her coat. <laughs> I thought it was a hawk. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. But I mean, I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. Of course, someone on campus died. Some of these people knew her. All right, catch you later, Reggie. 
I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. All right, yeah, let's just go ahead and just... Hold on, are these the mean girls? Do I get the... Nope, okay. Do I get to take a picture of this guy? Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. Fine, we will not... We'll, we'll go, okay? We will go. That's a cute hoodie. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. So, I get they want a world build here, but I'm on my way to go discuss a depressing issue with a person who lost their daughter. And what does the game tell me? You have a new Facebook post to view, if you want to. Yep, nothing takes me out of it more than... Hi, Martin. I'm writing something that comes from a personal place, but it also ter terrifies me. Is it even worth finishing? Oh, hell yes. Shut up, I know your opinion. Anything about me should be published. Once again, the poem is not about you. It includes me, but it's not about you. <laughs> sure. See what I mean? I don't know, do you think I should have tried harder to uh, continue up a dating facade with her during this moment of grief? Or do you think I should respect her wishes of not wanting to deal with a, a grieving person to let them, like, I don't know, what's the word? Rest? <laughs> Even Mentally? waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Hi, Ven. Finn Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is administrative assistant anyway? She says as she puts her puts her elbows onto the table, pushes down on her hands, places her hands into her cheeks and scrunches her little face as she looks at him with the big unblinking eyes. Howdy then. Oh howdy then. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. And I also undyed my hair to I leave the house. I telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? Oh. You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's... Borderline adorable. I got the song stuck in my head now. Listen. I'm... I'm really sorry about Safi. Uh, okay. Thanks. Did you kill her? Me too. Uh, you, you, she and I had our issues. You killed her, didn't you? She was an amazing person, and... We're all gonna miss her. Except me, because I didn't miss her. I hit her square on. She never mentioned you. <laughs> you two knew each other? She never told me. It was a big secret. I mean, her mom is my boss. Ah! Called it. It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. I might kill you next. <laughs> See, 
I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. That's why I killed her, why you see. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation. Oh. I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, uh, this version of Max is so different from the previous one. The other one was so inside her own bubble that she could not be bothered to talk to anyone without scrunching into a little ball and putting herself inside her own little protective bubble of you can't hurt me because I'm better than everyone else. Or worse than everyone else, I guess, is what she would probably think of herself. I want to go camping. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. This one's got more, uh, more confidence. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. <laughs> Evergreen. I hate to ask, but any these are all by current or former faculty. Now I feel like a slacker. You are a slacker. You hold your own class. You give people lectures on how to uh, how to take good pictures. You got your teacher arrested for raping other little girls. Who is that? Uh, you lost your best Sounds friend. Like you sacrificed her to save day. the entire town. Uh, yeah, you're a slacker. A horror and a slacker. You've done so much less than all these other people who come in, pretend to know a subject, teach it to a bunch of children, clap their hands off, go around the corner, and then get arrested for rape. before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? Okay. What am I doing in here? Where's Gwen? Why is Gwen? When is Gwen? Hey, uh, the when is Gwen could be an actual issue. I may have to rewind time just to go find Gwen. This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Yeah, sure. Why not? Befriend the killer. Aha. Uh -huh. Now let's open it. If only we could reverse time. We could open it, read it, then reverse time to when it was never open, and still know what was inside it. Who is Gwen about? Must have been a pretty penny in the middle of the morning. I do not know who Gwen is. I do not know where Gwen is. Here Here's a package. Saved you the trip. <laughs> yep. What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. <laughs> I might have to kill you. <laughs> All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be more than friends. All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least... Not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> you're full of surprises. I don't like him. I don't like him. And I can't figure out why I don't like him, but I do not like him. Oh, this is Gwen. You have a much deeper voice. Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the hall? Gwen? All good? Uh, Max, I, uh, so, I'm a hugger. Um, are you a 
a hugger. Oh, definitely, yes. World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Yes, I am. Bring it in. Oh. Hug me harder, mommy. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Ugh! Oh, I hate that. I hate oh, when hey, it happens. You're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Oh my god. Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Yes. Girl, you broke into an entire high school just to go swimming around in a pool with your delinquent friend. You oh. picked up some talents. Bad reputation, <laughs> twins. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. What? Your wheelhouse? Oh, hold Definitely. on. I just need to find the right tool. Alright, anyone have a paper clip? Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. It is better. Just saying. Nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. Oh, that's pretty cool. That pin looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Oh. Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? No, girl, that's obvious. Come on. It's not that hard. I have an idea. I bet this guy has something that we can shove into that lock. Finn's always up to something shady. Gotta keep an eye on him. Oh, we're just coming right out to say it, aren't we? Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Yeah, who? If we're gonna use a spoon to pick a lock. We're gonna use the world's slowest weapon. Murder weapon. This is oh, happening. Well, now you might feel a slight pinch. Uh, Holy shit. Oh. So you did it. I I want to point out a little story I have from my time in the army. Uh, so I lived on the airfield with a bunch of other soldiers. We were isolated from the rest of the, uh, the, the base, the fort that we lived at, Fort Bliss. And there's a three-story barracks there. Each of us had individual rooms that we had a separate roommate with, with our own bathroom and whatnot. And whoever installed the locks installed them backwards. And so, you could easily break into someone else's room with a card. Like a library card. You could take a library card, get it right in there, twist the handle a bit, and it would slip right through and unlock the door for you. We all used to use our, uh, our cards to get in each other's rooms. Especially if someone forgot their key. And... I was known as the lockpick specialist because I could break into anyone's room using my 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 library card from where I lived. It's a little fun fact. 
Max isn't the only one who knows how to break into things using obscure objects. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I'm so glad to help. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Yeah, it's not the only thing the spoon unlocks. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Is it the one you're holding? She was happy about something, but she wouldn't tell us what it was. Typical Safi. Yeah, God, that girl and her fucking secrets. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. And my Thanks. spoon will always Me unlock too. it. <laughs> or my library card. <laughs> hey, Max. Moses. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Okay, well, go tend to your flock, Moses. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now, I... Like a plague? I need a minute. Like a plague is descended yeah. upon you? Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Mm. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. Obviously trying to find out who killed her daughter. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Probably underpaid as well. Understaffed and uh, under-resourced. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. They sucked yes. where I live, too. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. In fact, my, my, my best friend's father was a cop, and he was bad at his job. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Oh, no, he was security. Never mind. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? So I want to point out I lowered the graphics a bit to make it so that it doesn't uh, interfere so much because it was stuttering. No, but so if it doesn't look as good quality, it's because I'm I'm trying to it? capture it and record it. Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Uh, well, no one I know. Not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Mm, wasn't that. Maxine. You and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? None. Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. But... That's what I believe as well. Everyone is but capable of everything, given the right circumstances and consequences. Of hiding their own pain. 
She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And then it probably came crashing down on top of her. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Why does it sound so muffled? Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. Of course she is. Her daughter's no, dead. She wants to know why. She wants to know how. She wants to know Safi who. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. If it wasn't for the demon in the background, I would totally pick this picture, but that demon in the background is very foreboding, and it might not go very well over the religious people. Whenever she spoke, Here you it just is. couldn't help but want to listen. Here is the photo. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I mean, that one picture it showed her very nice, very happy, drinking uh, with her friends, having a great moment. Always but at the same up. time, it also did show something dangerous lurking in the background. My back foot. Not the most appropriate picture for a funeral or a wake or anything. Signed, Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, but it's a good thing she kept her day job. Bitch. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts. That's a rare privilege. All right, well, I selected the picture, now what? Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. Doctorate of Education, Doctorate of Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Criminology for me. Just not a doctorate. Bachelor, Bachelor, yeah, yeah, Bachelor. Bachelor of Criminology. Yep, that's me. Master's of Business Administration. Doctor of Philosophy of Education. So he's got two doctorates. In Philosophy of in Education and Education itself. Wow. But it's all based around education. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. Who the heck is on the second? Who's the second person? Bye, Yasmin. I will forever miss you. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Fab. You're going to describe what a fab is for me? The Fine Arts Building. <laughs> That's what a fab is. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna walk into a building. Hey, Gwen. I told you. 
Don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm. You say well, calling. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Too obvious. Call? She's not the killer. Uh Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you oh, found the killer. Need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone oh, call. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Seems I'm not the only one. Oh my god, you're cute. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. I, I love your sweater. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Yeah. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yes. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. I'm not, like, aware of Safi using her mom's position like that. Not on purpose, for sure. Just accidental nepotism. Gotcha. Think it was enough to piss somebody off? Seems like Safi rubbed a few people the wrong way. How should I know? I want Go a Commander Shepard moment. I want to punch this months. bitch. Got any suggestions? Can I punch you in the face? Names? My fist. I've got a hunch Finn Lang knows a lot more than he's letting on. Interesting. Good lead. That'll do for now, I think. Thanks, Miss Caulfield. Bitch. Screw you too. Okay. I understand who she is. I understand what she's doing. Is I do not appreciate her methods. When they talk about TikTok? What? You know, despite that art prankster at large, I think this one is actually right side up. And it's beautifully drawn if it is. Even though, let's be honest, they probably wrote, they probably drew on it one side. And then went to the other side and then paint the heart, you know? Moses seemed really torn up earlier. Yes, yes, fine. I don't even know where to start. Put your right hand in. You take your right hand out. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, 
I keep replaying it in my head. And you will. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or uh, called her when she didn't come back? Uh, Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? She was taking a phone call. It's a completely normal thing to do for a person. Don't. Don't torture yourself. The, the human world doesn't run on a battle buddy anything. system, okay? Soldiers do. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. Battle buddy. I swear it. We have our battle buddy. And our bitch. Who I'm sure is a bitch for a good reason, because this game is very good at giving us nuance. Sophie weighs heavily on us today. Oh, he's the killer. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Sophie disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. Okay, he's not the killer. Too obvious. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or no. I could just stay out of it. No, I'll just stay out of it. Keep Moses company. I pause to catch my breath. Okay. Comfort, Moses. It wasn't your fault, Moses. It wasn't your fault. It was going to happen anyway. Answering the nosy kid reporter's questions will come back to bite me. Oh, no, it will. It will. It, it will. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? I'm gonna try to befriend to befriend the bitch because she seems to be a bitch for a reason. Hi, Moses. It's weird. Nobody here saw her. Just you and me. 
feel so disconnected from all of them. Yeah. It hits different, doesn't it? Hey. I have a question about Safi. <clears throat> okay. How did you guys meet, anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Mm. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. Nice. A cherry blossom. Beautiful. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I believe it. I haven't thought about that in a while. Yeah, is this bench special? What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense. Okay. For just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. Oh, you're not accepting her new pronouns? How dare you? I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. See, I personally, as a person... If you need anything? As yeah. an elf. As an elf Thomas. person. You too. Yeah? I, as an elf person, um, never view people as past tense. Because I believe that they're not ever really gone. <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactically. Moses? Here we go! It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can be any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. Are we gonna go find out how she died? What the hell was that? You're viewing time. Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. No oh. down. Let the observer pass. Ah, oh, the great snow battle. What is going on? What am I seeing? Glimpses of a past. I keep following Moses until I figure it out. Alright, we're getting to the new game mechanics. And that will have to wait for next episode, everyone. We're getting a little bit late now. So I will come back when we get to this point again. Okay? Goodbye, everyone.